So uh, this is uh, something that happened to you. Yes. But um, for purposes of encouraging the believers, and the reason God shows things is that they may be revealed that He's our God, He's alive. I would want you to share with us the story of what happened. And we bless the name of the Lord before we pray. You try to make sure the microphone is close to you so that the sound can come out very well. Thank you. So you can uh, look at us and tell us. Okay. Praise God, church. So, it was my experience that I got. It was some time back when we were listening to a message while going home in Deca. Then it was of a man who used to teleport in the spirit. So he said he prayed a prayer before he used to do those things of teleporting the spirit. He prayed a prayer that he wanted to have an encounter with God. He said that if God did it for the whites, he can also do it for him because God is not a God of, of segregation. Yeah, actually that man is from India. So uh, he saw Dr. Bruce Allen talking about that, who is a white and American. So this Indian man also said he would do the same. That's, that's, that's what he's referring to. So I also made the same prayer. I said, if God did it for that Indian man, he can also do it for me. So from then, I kept on purposing that, Lord, I want to have an encounter. So it was on Wednesday this week, we had an overnight here, and I said, now I've got the good chance, I'm not busy at school. So I said, this when overnight, I have to purpose to have an encounter with God. So we started praying, there was Apostle Grace music in the background. So we prayed, then like, we prayed for many hours, but I reached like at around 2 a.m., so there I felt like the spirit had taken over me. Then I went in a place. I asked the Holy Spirit, which place is this? In the middle, because that was a worship session going on in the background, you are worshiping and praying. Yes. You had prayed for many hours. Yes. It had taken long when you were engaging. Yes. Then something happened like you went in the spirit. Yes. And you are moving to a place. Yes. Okay. Then so, you did what? You asked? I asked the Holy Spirit, which place is this? Then he told me, this is the third heavens. He told you, you are now in the third heavens. Yes. So when I reached there, I saw the 24 elders like... I saw 24 people and I got a knowing. Those are the 24 elders. Like a football pitch, but which is little. But they were seated around, like forming a circle around. Then I saw the four beasts, one of an eagle, a lion, all those four were there. Then the 24 elders were singing, were saying, holy, holy, without stopping. Then the four beasts had bowels, like containers, having our prayer requests there, like scrolls, papers, bowing down, giving them to God. That uh, you, 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 when you were telling me, you demonstrated what they were doing. Why, how were they giving them over to the one who was on the throne? Like they were like this. Then I had them say like, "You, you are, you are most." Uh, like, okay, let me use, you are worthy to open them. Like, oh, oh you are worthy to open this, the, the prayer request to the yes. seal, like, yes. to know what is happening inside. Yes. Okay. Then from there. So, and, uh, yes, okay, continue. Then I bowed down and started singing also the song, Worthy is your name. But where are the... You, you, you don't move fast. So, you also found yourself bowing down and yes. singing the song, Worthy is your name. Yes. Okay. So you, you said for you you are singing what is your name and then for them they were singing Holy Holy Holy. holy. Then okay. where the four beasts were giving the scrolls, 
I saw something very beautiful I can't explain but it was like crystal stones rock but very beautiful I can't explain what it was then covered with a lot of like lightings a lot of light I couldn't see what was there so from there and that's I, why they were bowing yes even, yes from there I bowed down started singing the song and I got out no you before you got out you said uh, when they were giving over the, the bowers with the scrolls and the, the prayer request you said there was a perfume you told me uh, yeah what happened yes so the Lord made me get like he wanted me to understand so here's something that I could knew I can know but it wasn't the same in heaven so you smelled what so I smelled as perfume you use the word aroma when you are telling me okay an aroma of perfume but it was very nice like calm very good okay I can't explain how it was but I saw that when the four beasts were bowing down giving the scrolls to God then from there I bowed down started worshiping what is your name and got out of and it. you got out and so when you got out um, there are other experiences that you told me you, you, you will not give them in details I'll give them for you uh, but let's book the book of Revelation chapter 4 Revelation chapter 4 verse 2 starting from verse 2 we shall read the rest of it it says and immediately I was in the spirit. Had you ever read the book of Revelations before? The only part I read was this part of the seven beasts uh, beast with seven heads getting out of the sea. Oh, getting okay. out of the sea. The ending of the world. That's the only part I read. Okay. Look at this. Now you see what you saw. And immediately... I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven you look at the scripture and one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper those are the stones which are like crystal like kind of and the sardine stone so the one that sat looked like that those are the crystal things you saw then it says and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw twenty-four elders sitting. Those are the ones saying round about. Clothed with white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Verse 5. And out of the throne proceeded lightings and thunderings. So you saw like, you said you saw light. A lot of lightings. Okay, it was so bright, I couldn't see there, so I just bowed down. It was so bright, you couldn't see, so you had to bow down. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass, like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. The first beast was like a lion, the second beast like a calf, the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when the beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the four and twenty four elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, worship him that lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O, oh, to receive glory and honor. That's what you had them saying, which you are failing to speak. This is what you had them saying. They, said, they were saying, You are worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. Now, you saw them having 
uh, prayer requests. Let's look at Revelation chapter 5, verse 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four, the four beasts and the twenty-four elders, all of them, fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden bowels full of odors, aroma, perfume, which are the prayers of the saints. So for you, you saw the prayer requests were like written in the form of a scroll. And where was the scroll? In the, in the, in the bowels. Something like bowels. And then at that point, you smelled an aroma. A sweet smell. Yes. But you and how did you know that these prayers were our prayers? That those that were in the prayer in the scrolls? Like I had a knowing. You had a knowing. Yes. That what they are presenting are our prayers. Yes. At that very moment. Yes. And so when he got out, he he was still in the same experience in the spirit. He wanted to know what other people are praying about because he saw that they were being answered. And then he purposed to know about some people. Actually, he was distracted. He got out. But before he was distracted, then he, you said you wanted to know about what Joshua was praying for. Yes. So, okay. All the people who are around here. Yes. Because we had first watched a message and you told us, if you want to know, you purpose and ask God. You told us about a scenario. Was it apostle? So, like you had told him you have a prophecy for him, but maybe you had mistaken him. It as is not that apostle, it's the other apostle. So yes. then he came and then he said, Okay, it's fine, we can still get your pro- prophecy. So you prayed together and told God, What do you have for me about apostle? So then the prophecy came. So I also saw when the prayer requests were being answered in the other vision, kind of. So I said, God, what do you have about? For me about this one, every person who was here, and I started from. Oh, so you started for your, on yourself or other people? From other people. On other people. Yes. yes. I started from Joshua. Then the Lord showed me. To so I will not want you to speak the details of the prayers, but yes, the Lord showed you. Lord showed me like a paper. Then I got a knowing. That those were his prayer requests. I wrote them down in my book. So you, you saw a paper and saw his prayer requests. Yes. Then you wrote them down in your book. Yes. Then he gave me also answers about all those prayer requests. He also gave you answers about the prayer requests. Yes. How God had answered and how yes. he had answered. Then. So uh, I, I got an opportunity when he told me this. Now he had not talked to Joshua. This is the first time he was saying this. So. I said, now he wrote them down. He has them in his book. So he brought them. Now I called Joshua. I said, Joshua, do you know anything about this? There was a big shock there. So Joshua had also his book where he had written his prayer requests which he had come to pray for. And in that very moment, exactly what Joshua had written. And they are not common things. I also was surprised to see what Joshua had written. So not something that you will guess. And in their order, number one, this is what Jesse wrote. Number one, this is his prayer request. And God was saying, I've answered it. Number two, this. Number three, number four. And you said they were many, but then you summarized them. You got a knowing to summarize them in four yes. points. Yes. Ex- but on his sheet, there were like one point was broken down into like three. On his sheet, actually, his, every one point is broken down into three. Yes. But for you, God will give you a summary of that one point in one line. Yes. And you will be amazed if you can get those books and you look at what Jesse wrote, read, so in heaven, and what Joshua had written. Exactly 100%. As in, I mean 100%, that's what I'm saying. 100%. 100%. And then, of course, you saw other people, you may not have to mention their names because you went and told them. So, and then something happened, then they called you. They called you, then that's how the destruction happened, and he did not continue. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Now,